Hey everyone. Hey everyone. I gotta always let that thing record a little bit. <coughs> I wanna say good morning to everybody. We're still here. I wanna thank a lot of people. A lot of people sent me a lot of information. Uh, Rhonda Wilkins sent me a lot of stuff. Uh, Clint Williams. Once again, you guys are always doing such a great job sending me this stuff. Clint Williams sent me uh, some Bible study and I did post that, Clint. Uh, Robert. Uh, he's been sending me a lot of stuff. I.S. Sean uh, uh, sending me tons of stuff. Tons of stuff, Sean. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Sonia also and R.S. Thank you guys. Part of the family. Like I said, if you want to be part of this family, all you got to do is subscribe. Then you hit notification bell. Like this video. Share this video. Helps us get out. Adds to the family. A lot of stuff going on around the world. I was just going through a lot of the news, and I mean, it's just, it's nonstop. But a lot of stuff happened yesterday. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. But uh, Russian warships equipped with hypersonic missiles. They dispatched a bunch of them at different places yesterday. Now, we know Russia plays a big event in this stuff. They play a major role. They're saying that within 30-some days, maybe, or something that maybe China will make a move. Don't know, North Korea is ready to make a move at any time. And now the big news came out this morning, will the United States give South Korea its, some of its big powerful missiles, you know what I'm talking about, I wanna say the word on here. Starts with an N. And I do believe if they do that, China will have to move. They won't have a choice. They will move, they'll move before they even think that's gonna happen. I see this stuff playing out. I know that three people will play a major role. And Britain and the United States will be the first two hit. I know this stuff. I've seen it. I know it happens. And I'm telling you, it happens very quick. It's not like World War II and World War I. It's not. It's, it's done and over in less than 24 hours. I'll tell you this much. World War III will not last very long. It does not. It does not. And it takes more people than all the wars combined. That's sad. But that's just the truth. Uh, when it, I, it could be any time. Any time. I sense it. I know it's coming. But it happens at any time. I mean, the world has got so corrupt and so evil. There's no stopping this evil that's taking place. Like I said, I think the Antichrist is already here. He's in the shadows right now. But I'm telling you, he's here. He's definitely here. He's got his hands on everything. I was watching some of that stuff from the World Economic Forum the other day. And that assistant basically came out and said, you know, we, the people, are gods. And that fake god up in the clouds doesn't exist. And I'm like, yeah, we're at the end. We're definitely at the end, people. There, we just, there's not much more time. That's why I tell you, try to just get on there to everybody Jesus is coming. Try to talk to as many people as you can. I'm going to be here with you as long as we're still here. And like I said, I don't, I don't think it's long. I know that uh, Robert sent me a message this morning. He said, do you think we'll be here for the, uh, the digital money? That's going to be, which is definitely the beginning of the beast. When it goes, when it gets sent out, that's definitely the beginning. But we won't be here. And he's like, well, you think, he's like, you think we're going to be gone before? Oh, yeah. I don't think we'll be here in the next couple of months. I think the world will be over in the next couple of months. See, what happens is when all this stuff takes place, what I have seen is that when it does, everybody jumps on board. See, all this time, everybody's been scared to use their most powerful weapons. But when the first one is used, everybody just starts using them like it's nothing. Because they think to themselves, well, this will take, do away with the population, so why not? Because that's their biggest thing right now anyway is there's too many of us. People don't understand what's going on behind the scenes. The, the wealthy and powerful people want you gone. 
That's what's happening. That's why all this stuff's playing out. We're called mouth eaters. All we do is sit and eat and take up resources. And these really wealthy, powerful people don't want us around. That's why you got to be so careful out there. They're coming after us. I mean, I've talked to God about it. Lord, I was talking to him about this morning. I'm like, Lord, they're coming after us. And he knows that. But he said, fear not, I come in the storm. Always saying the same thing, that when this storm happens, and it's a storm, we will be taken out right before it happens. And I mean, it'll be minutes. when You, you might even see blasts. But we'll be out of here when it happens. But this stuff is not six months away, people. It's any time. I can guarantee it's not six months from now. I'm telling you, it's going to be fast. It's not long. He said specifically to me two days ago, not long now. Not long now. It's already playing out. The end of the world is coming. It's coming very quick. I worry about a lot of people, but I mean, I sense it in the spirit. I know what's coming. I see it playing out in real time because, I mean, I've seen it. So I know that it's coming, and I see all the chess pieces being moved before that happens. And I mean, there's nothing you can do. All we got to do is just be ready to get out of here. Like I said, we're modern-day Noahs. We're telling everybody that the, the, the boat's about to leave, the rain's coming, the rest of it's up to them. That's all we can do. Now, yesterday, when I went to sleep, I fell asleep for a little while. I didn't feel good. I haven't felt good in a couple of days. But I saw something. And it really adds up to a lot of what everybody else has seen. But I had, it wasn't me in the dream. I understand I was watching somebody else. This was during the tribulation. That's what I had. And I've never, I mean, I've not had a very vivid tribulation dream, but I had one yesterday. It wasn't me. It wasn't me in the dream. It was another guy. He was a scientist or an agent. I don't know, but he wasn't a bad guy. He was a good guy. And there was a major invasion after the war happened. And I saw equipment that I know was n like nothing I've ever seen. It was the strangest equipment I've ever seen. The best way I can describe some of it was like the Imperial Walkers in Star Wars. It didn't look like that, but the way it functioned was like it. It had big legs. It was only two legs. And it had a top, a big top, but it was shaped like a snake like a snake's head on top of it. And the good guys that was left was trying to throw everything at it, and they couldn't bring these things down. They just couldn't. There was nothing. Our modern weapons couldn't touch it. And they had some kind of ships. They looked like snakes, too. I noticed their uniforms had snakes on them, had a cobra snake on them. All of them had snakes on it. Very vivid. And I was following this guy. Uh, I was seeing him, what he was doing. And he was trying to, he had secrets of stashed Arleigh Burke class destroyers. And what they was doing, they had them hid on rivers and everything. And they was using them to try to bring these things down. I guess the aircraft carriers and all them was gone. But there was still some Arleigh Burke destroyers left. And probably some subs, but the only ones I know that they was really trying to use, they was trying to use experimental weapons to bring these things down, but it, they wasn't having much luck at all. And there, whatever these things was in the uniforms, they wasn't human. They was not human. And there was tons of them. I mean, there was just divisions on top of divisions. And these everybody was just running for their life. Nobody was in a home anymore. Everybody was just trying to go from place to place to hide. That's all you could do was hide. Nothing you could do. Because they had the air, they had the airspace, and they had the ground. And they had the seas. There was nothing nobody could do. And I woke up and I'm like, oh my goodness, what did I just see? Very vivid. I mean, the color of these, the machines they had was like a, a gray liquid color. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Whatever these things was made of was like some kind of material I've never seen. 
but they did not shoot missiles and stuff like we have. It shot some kind of plasma, and it was very vivid, very vivid. When when these things would shoot, they made a horrible sound, and everybody would just run and scream because there was no getting away from it when it would start. But these things was everywhere. They was in the United States. They was all over the world. There was everywhere. It was a major, major invasion. Major. I think it's fallen angels. And I think that this whole time, over the 2,000 years, Satan has been building up an army. We First thing that the Lord said to me in 2020 was, it'll be like the days of Noah again. Well, we got to go back there. And Noah's days... People was genetically trying to put animals into humans. and um, Satan was building an army all the way back then, making giants, demigods, all this stuff. Well, he hasn't stopped. He's been, still, he's, been, he's been doing it again. Where do you think you get these gray aliens from? And them experimenting with... Angels can't mate with humans. But they experiment and create things that way by putting things in women. And I think that that's what has been going on all this time. This time, again, he's, he's just building up an army to face the Messiah when he comes. So he'll have what's left of the world's armies and military that go in line with these things. Because there was a lot of people that was working for these things. They was with them. And the, ones, the good guys were the ones that was being hunted. And they will all get together... And they'll come up with every biological, chemical, nuclear thing that they can throw at the Messiah when he comes. And that was actually decoded in the Bible code years and years ago that that's what they would do. That when the Messiah shows up, they're going to try to hit, hit him with everything they can. And it don't work. Everything they shoot, he just puts it back on them. He just waves his hand. They're, I mean, they're, you cannot destroy the creator. He created everything. Every molecule in the universe, he created it. You're not going to... But they're going to try. And God's letting them believe that, hey, they have a chance. And he's, he's making them believe they have a chance. Just so he can show them they don't. And that's what all this is about. People get up and go to work every day. They don't realize this has nothing to do with anything. Every day is good and evil. Satan building up his army to face the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, in the last days. That's all, every day you wake up, that's what's in the background every single day. That's what's going on. And we're, we got front row tickets. Like I said, the rapture's going to happen very soon, and we're going to be out of here. Then the days will be shortened after we're gone. People won't know if it's daylight or dark. The days will not be, I mean, you think it's bad now and it gets dark at 5 o'clock, it'll get dark at 11 o'clock in the morning. There won't be much light. It'll mostly be dark. People won't know if it's Monday or Friday. They won't know. Once we're gone, nobody will know what the calendar, what day it is, what hour it is. That will all be gone. That's why he said they won't know the day and the hour of his return because you won't know the day once we're gone. You won't know the day. If you do your research, keep reading through there, you figure out that's what he was talking about. It's not the day of the rapture you won't know. It's the day in the tribulation. Nobody will know when the second coming comes because you won't know what day it is. The world will be so bad he had to shorten the days because if he didn't, no, no flesh would live. It says it right in Revelation. That's how bad the tribulation is. He has to shorten the days completely or no flesh would live. None. People would be gone within a week. That's how bad it's going to be. I mean, people don't... Even the church has no clue how bad, how bad the tribulation is because we they took it out. They quit teaching it, and they've got to hold you... And that's the devil... You know, they talked about demons, and the first time when demons started coming in, the first place they went to was the church, and they started working in the churches. Why not? That's where you want to be, and they've got everybody working in the churches for them. They're doing their job for them, teaching everybody, taking revelation out. All of it. They've done their job. They separated the church into many denominations, and the ones they left, 
They've completely have people amen and stuff that's not even in the Bible. They did their job. And you're about to see the outcome of that because most of the churches will be left here. Most of them. Almost what Lord's been showing me, almost 75% of the church will be left. 75%. That don't even believe in Jesus. They go to church, but they don't believe in Jesus. They have no faith in him. That's sad. That's a big number that will be left here. 75%. And they won't repent. They, they're not watching for him. They, they love the world more than they do Jesus. They love that building more than they do Jesus. They go to the, the church to go to the building, not, not him. And that's where we're at today. That's how sad the world has become. If you noticed, everybody attacks me on here is all church people. Nobody from the, nobody that's lost. People that's lost, they email me all day. How, where do I go in the Bible? Where do I do? I mean, the kindest, nicest, nicest people, the church people is the ones that attack you. While they could be out saving the people, saving souls, they'd rather sit there and fight with you because they're lazy and they don't want to work for God. They just want to sit and bash everybody and they're going to get left here. I'm telling you, the church better wake up and repent for what they've done. And they better do it quick because they're about to get left in a place where they do not want to be left. Be ready. If you don't see me again, I'll see you in heaven.